Okay, good morning guys. Welcome back to Harvest Moon Farm. My name is Mickey. Today we are going to make some homemade pasta. So I have some um, semolina here from a past project. I'm gonna go ahead and use part of that. What's the matter? I'm gonna use the rest of this and then I'm going to use some freshly milled flour to um, make up the rest of our dough. And I'm gonna double it so that I can have plenty um, for later on. So we need three and a half cups per recipe, so I need seven cups total. So I'm gonna do whatever I've got of this one. Okay, so I had two cups of that. And then I've got some wheat berries here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that bowl out and then run that through my mill. left from some I milled the other day so I need a total of five more cups so let's see what I've got here I do have the mock mill 200. I can leave that link down in the description. So I need two more cups. And whoops. All right, so there we have our seven cups of flour. And then we need a half a teaspoon of salt for each recipe. So we'll do one teaspoon. Four eggs, so I'm gonna put eight in here. I will just let those dry and then crumble them up and give them back to the chickens. All right, and then we need two tablespoons of water to start with. Oh, sorry, two tablespoons per, res per recipe. So we'll put four in here. Then I'm just gonna run this until it's mixed. And if it's too dry, we'll add a little bit more water. Last time I made it, I did have to add a little more water. The semolina, I think, sometimes needs more water. a nice ball here so I think we're good so now we're going to switch this out 
for the um, dough hook. Maybe once I can get all this dough off of here. All right, so I hope you guys can hear me earlier. My mic came unplugged. Um, so I had to put, put that back in. So hopefully you can hear what I was saying. Um, all right, so I got my dough here. I'm actually gonna, you know, that doesn't make sense. Move this out of the way. So first I'm gonna show you how easy it is that you can make your pasta dough without an, any sort of roller or attachment. I do have a KitchenAid pasta attachment that I'm gonna use for most of this dough, but I'm gonna roll some of it out here just by hand so that you can see that you don't need that attachment to make your pasta. Does it make it easier? Sure, but it doesn't prevent you from doing it. Uh oh, this might need a little bit more water. Actually, this does need some more water. All right, so we are going to, I did end up adding some more water because it was really dry. Um, so now I'm going to divide this dough up and we're gonna wrap it up and let it sit for about 20 or 30 minutes. Roll this up in kind of a ball here, and then I'm going to wrap it in plastic, and we're going to keep each piece covered later as we start working so that it doesn't dry out. Okay, our 30 minutes are up, so we are going to take our first ball of dough, and what I wanted to show you guys is how easy it is to do this without um, any sort of pasta roller or attachment. Obviously, I do have this kitchen attachment, but for this first bunch, I'm just going to roll it out by hand and cut it, and then we'll let those dry. And then those noodles typically, I don't roll them out. Ouch. I don't hold them out really thin, um, and then I'll use them for soup. And you can roll these, you can roll these out as thin as you want to or need to for whatever type of pasta that you want to make. <clears throat> I remember watching my mom make homemade noodles when I was a kid. And I always thought it was so cool that you could make your own noodles. And then of course it meant she was making chicken noodle soup, so that was always a big bonus. And so that's probably what I'll do with mine. <clears throat> Once I can get these rolled out a little bit. 
the dough is really thick. It's really, um, I don't know what the word I'm trying to look for is. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to roll out. Stiff, I guess, maybe? I don't know. I was just outside and it's definitely fall here now. <clears throat> it's pretty chilly this morning, but it's gonna warm up and be a beautiful day. I'm going to a fall festival with my sisters later this afternoon, so I'm very excited about that. Okay, so that's maybe a quarter of an inch. I could just keep rolling, but it doesn't. It's fine with this. So I'm just going to use a pizza roller, pizza cutter, and just cut my little slices. I'm terrible at making these even. So some places they're thin, some places they're, or some places they're narrow, some places they're wide. That's okay. They still eat the same. That one's kind of crazy looking, but all right. So I'm going to put these on this cookie sheet. And then when I'm all done with everything, I'm going to take, I'm going to take all my dough, all my rolled and cut pasta to a spare bedroom that we have because we have a cat. And if I leave this out where she can access it, we'll end up with cat hair and everything. And nobody wants cat hair in their food. Over there. All right, now the rest of this dough, I am going to go ahead and use my kitchen. Get out our second ball of dough. So that was super easy. Um, and I, I know I was making fun of myself for the, the crooked noodles, but there's something about them not being perfect that I don't know. I just like it. It, it gives me that kind of homey. Um, back when I was a kid feel, I guess, I don't know, makes me think of my mom and my grandma and all that stuff. So I like that. And actually, I'm going to cut this piece in half. So I'm going to flatten this just a little bit. Just so it'll go through the roller faster. Now, last time I did this, I had trouble with this coming loose, but let's see how we did. So, if you've never used one of these, it's really easy. You just set it at the one, and you, the first time you put your dough through, you want to put it through and then fold it and put it back through. And that just kind of helps get it all together. And then mine has, I think, 
eight settings so that you can go, you can make your pasta as thin or as thick as you want it. So if you wanted it just this thick, you could just run it through the cutter now or cut it yourself or whatever you wanted to do. I am going to go ahead and make mine a little thinner. I'm probably going to go maybe to four or five because I don't like it super thin. And all you do is just run it through, switch it to the next level, and run it through again. And if you feel like it's gotten kind of too long to handle, you can always just cut it. out my um, attachment now so I'm gonna take the roller off and I'm going to use hold of it I'm gonna use the wider cutter this is for fettuccine because I really like that size of the noodles get this in here. So I'm going to start with the first piece that I rolled. And there's a couple different things you can do here. You can roll these or put these through the shaper and let them dry flat. You can let them just go into a little pile, which I think is what I'm going to do, and then let them dry in the little nests, I guess. Um, I want my sign. You can also another thing you can do with this rolled pasta is a few weeks ago I did this 
I rolled it all out and then I just cut it into lasagna sized noodles, let it dry, and then I used those noodles to make some um, freezer meals, make some lasagna with them, and it turned out really good. All right, so I'm gonna start now cutting the pasta. So I'm just going to let it fall into a little nest and I'm going to put those on a cookie sheet and we'll let them dry like that. I'm going to put it just like this in a little pile. And I'm just going to work through all of my cheese. I'm going to cut all of this into this size noodle. So I'm just going to put these little nests of noodles on cookie sheets to let them dry. And then once they're completely dry, so I'll have to check them every day, make sure they're gonna take a little longer because I've got them like this, but you wanna make sure that they are completely dry. Once they are, you can store them in plastic bags or um, a glass container, however you wanna store your pasta. If you wanted to make something with them right now, you could stick them in the fridge or just let them dry for the day and then you could make something with the absolute fresh noodles and that is amazing too. I'm gonna let all of mine dry. Well, not the, the ones I rolled out by hand, I'm gonna let those dry a little bit until I'm done here. Then I'm gonna put them, then I'm going to put them in a baggie and put them in the freezer. Um, and then I'll, when I make soup this winter or sometime, then I will use those to add in my soup because I like those fat noodles in my soup. Okay, so there is our last um, piece of pasta that we had rolled. So we've got 12 little nests, piles of noodles. I'm gonna go set those in a spare room, like I said, so the cat doesn't get on them and the dog doesn't try to eat them. But this was a really simple process. Making your own pasta is so easy. Um, and I hope that if you've not ever tried it, that this video inspires you to give it a try. It's simple. It took me from start to finish, including that 30 minutes of rest time, about an hour and a half, maybe not quite that long. And you know, you can do something else during that half hour. I cleaned up the kitchen a little bit from my earlier mess, but it is very simple and they're so tasty and easy. And this just gives you fresh pasta. Um, you can put it in the freezer. You can let it dry, which is what I'm going to do, and then it's ready for to use. It's ready for you to use whenever you want it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.